Hello everyone. Today I will talk about three advanced QMK features. They are auto shift, tap downs, and the leader key. By default, these features are turned off in the source code, so you won't be able to access them, say from the QMK configurator website. In the old days, if you want to get them, you have to modify the source code and compile the firmware. Nowadays, there is one website or application that allows you to access these features without uh, any coding. Uh, this is called Vile. Let me show you their website. So you can either run it as a web, a web application, or you can run download the the app and run it on your uh, computer. The interface looks something like this. Uh, you can see uh, there are various features uh, allowed that you normally won't see in the QMK configurator, say tap downs. Okay, so Vile is not a magic. Um, you only get access to these features if somebody compiled a firmware uh, with these features turned on. So it, it will depend on uh, a third party uh, firmware. Okay, I will show you an example later using my PCB, the mini sub PCB. Okay, um, at the end of the uh, video, I will also tell you why I don't use these features. Okay, so the PCB I have is this one. It's the mini sub PCB, one of the minivan PCBs supporting the um, hot swap uh, switches. So if you scroll up here, you can see there is firmware for Vile. And if you go there, you can see uh, it is a hex file. So it's somebody compiled um, compiled the firmware with the features turned on. Or I think maybe the Vile automatically um, have the, the this firmware in, in the app already. OK, also if you go to the Trashman's uh, QMK configurator, or if you go to the QMK official configurator website, these features won't be turned on. OK, I already downloaded the um, app version on my Mac. So this is how it looks like when you don't plug in anything. Now let me plug in my PCB. OK, now it, it immediately identifies it as the mini sub firmware. And I can have access to the tap downs. And um, okay, let me first show you. Let me first show you the um, auto tab feature. Okay, so the auto tab basically, oh sorry, not the auto tab, auto shift. Auto shift basically means um, if you just tap one key, it will be the key itself. But if you hold it for a little bit longer. Uh, it will become the shifted version of that key, so you can type the type the um, capitalize the letter very easily, or you can type the special symbols easily if you just hold that key uh, for a little bit longer. So if you want to turn that one on, you go here Auto Shift. You can see by default it's turned off, and if you just say turn on, it will be on. You can also turn on for the modifiers and. Uh, you have some choices, what to, like whether you want to turn it on for numbers or not, etc. And if you after you change this, you just say just say save, and it automatically works um, uh, in, in, on your keyboard. If you if you ever use the Vio, um, you 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 just know that because in Vio they they made it very nicely. If you just make a, a key change, it automatically. Uh, refresh the firmware and you automatically get the, that updated. Okay, uh, so that's auto shift. For tap downs, I think it's turned on 
by default, uh, at least for this firmware. So you can see it allows you to define eight keys for tap downs. So for tap downs, you can define four behaviors uh, at most. So you can just do the, uh, what happens for the tap. You can define what happens to the hold and a quick double tap and also tap and hold. So this one, say I'm at a zero, so it will, will be TD zero. After you set this up, you save, go back to the key, key map layer, and then just go to a key and say you want to do TD0 for that key, and that will be, uh, or you can just go here. You can choose TD0, and that key will be the tap dancing key. Okay, for the leader key, I don't find it in the setting. So I assume it's not uh, um, automatically um, compiled in the firmware. But the idea is very simple. If you ever use the Vim, um, it's exactly the same idea. You, For example, you first, uh, let's say your little key is comma. You first do comma and then do L, say. And then you can define what happens for comma L um, and or, or any other combinations. Then you can trigger um, whatever key combo or um some behavior uh, for that okay so that's that let me go back to my slide so why i don't use them the the problem is that for all three of them um it introduces a delay because the the keyboard needs to know whether you are doing a tap or you are doing a short hold or you're doing like uh, other behaviors so it will have a longer lag to um, detect which behavior you're doing right now and if you are fast typer it it becomes very confusing so if you type too fast then it will trigger these behaviors which is not what you're intended or if you do the auto shift it forces you to slow down so I feel it's I might as well just do the shift version for for the for the capital key or for the special symbols. Okay, that's all I want to cover for today. Hope this is uh, useful information. Thanks for watching.